Hi, this is Jason with MathTutorDVD.com and today we're going to begin to talk about fractions. We're going to spend the next several sections talking about all sorts of aspects of fractions. This section is going to be sort of an introduction, review of fractions, things that you probably have learned before, but maybe they're a little bit fuzzy, uh, or maybe you haven't studied fractions much in a long, long time, so this is going to start from ground zero and we're going to go from there. I'm not going to assume that you have a lot of experience with fractions. Uh, and we're just going to build upon it uh, one step at a time. And then after this section, we'll get into adding fractions and subtracting and all that stuff. The first thing I want to say before I really get started is don't stress out too much about fractions. A lot of people, even adults, have problems with fractions. There's really no good reason for it, though. The, the reason people mostly get uh, intimidated or have a problem with fractions is just because they haven't worked with them enough to get comfortable. I mean, once upon a time, when you were a kid, adding 6 plus 9 was difficult. Um, adding you know, 5 plus 11 was difficult. But all that stuff gets easier as you do it more and more and more. And so you just need to see a lot of examples to know how to work with these things to see what makes sense and what doesn't so that you won't make mistakes. So we're going to do the same thing with fractions. All right, so what is a fraction? It's sort of a general review of things that you've probably learned before. What is a fraction? Basically, a fraction is used to describe when you have less than one of something. So you don't have a whole number of something. You may have a fractional part or just a part of something. So you're going to hear me talking about pizzas and pies a lot in this, in this part, and a lot of classes do that. And it's a great reason that people do talk about that with fractions because it just makes sense. So try to imagine a pizza. If you have a round circular pizza with all the pieces in it, you're said to have one pizza. But if I cut that pizza in half, that's a fraction, right? Cut it in half, and I give this half of the pizza to somebody, we all know that we give half of the pizza away. If I cut the pizza two times, you know, one up and down, one left and right, so I have four pieces of pizza, and I only take one piece for myself, only one of the four pieces there, then I'm said to have a quarter of the pizza, or I have one quarter of the pizza. Those are fractions. You already have some experience with fractions, so don't stress out too much about fractions. We're going to learn how to write them, we're going to learn how to manipulate them and simplify them, but just remember you do have some experience. So, what is a fraction? I've already really told you, but I want to start from ground zero. So let's say, uh, let's say I have this pizza. It's a round pizza here. Right? Could be anything though. Could be a candy bar. Could be a you know a muffin. It could be anything that you can break up into pieces. And with this pizza, you know, I uh, cut it straight down the middle like this. Right? Just in two pieces like that. So there's two pieces of the pizza, two pieces total. But I don't take both pieces and give it to a friend. I only take one of these two pieces and give it to a friend. So what this means at the end of the day. Since I only actually have one piece, I represent it as one, but I need to somehow say that I only took one piece out of a total of two pieces. So there's my two pieces. So this is the fraction one half that you all know and love. It's not anything more complicated than that. You have two total pieces that you cut the thing up into. That's the bottom number. We call this the denominator. And the numerator, which is the top number, is however many pieces I actually have. All right? So it really, the fraction that you write is really going to be completely dependent upon how you chop the thing up and how many pieces you do, you, you actually have. So if we wanted to take this pizza, instead of cutting it like this, uh, like we said just a second ago, if we actually cut it into four pieces like this, and let's say I only uh, 